The change in the state's vaccine plan to an age-based rollout now is upsetting some who live with disabilities. As KCAL 9's Rachel Kim explains this afternoon, some people who were originally higher up on the vaccine tiers now must wait longer. The prioritization here, it, it really matters. It's going to really matter with people's lives. 32-year-old Adam Byers has spinal muscular atrophy. Since last March, he's only left his house once for non-medical reasons because he doesn't want to take the chance of getting COVID due to his weak lungs. He's one of many people in the disabled community who's outraged after Governor Gavin Newsom announced that the state would be switching to an age-based vaccination plan, which they believe deprioritizes high-risk people under 65. But right now, there's a limited supply. And when you have a limited supply, the way you're going to save the most lives is vaccinating the riskiest people first. And we're riskier. Disabled Californians are riskier. We are a big part of the community, and our voices need to be heard for our well-being. 45-year-old Tim Jin has cerebral palsy. He's confined to a wheelchair and communicates by typing on an iPad with his toes. He doesn't understand why he has to wait to get vaccinated when he is so vulnerable around his caretakers. I come in contact with multiple people every day because of my cerebral palsy. There is no way for me to know what my workers are doing once they clock out. To us, it makes absolutely no sense to vaccinate a healthy 60-year-old in front of a person with a disability who has a very high risk of dying from COVID, who may be 45. Judy Mark is the president of Disability Voices United. She and other disability advocates are blasting Newsom's change of course, giving priority to older people instead of people who are most impacted by COVID-19. She says the governor is not following the science like he claims. If you look at every single study that has been done on who has had the most hospitalizations, who has had the most deaths, it is all people with disabilities across all age levels. Today, state health officials responded to the concerns from the disabled community and their advocates. So working with the disability community, working um, with those who take care of individuals with serious chronic conditions, uh, beginning to uh, galvanize around a policy that uh, uh, we will announce later that brings together an opportunity to vaccinate those individuals all in the same vein where we focused on those older Californians. We really are calling on Governor Newsom to do the right thing, to keep his promise, and allow people with disabilities to be able to have access to the vaccine sooner rather than later. Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.